Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's moto vlog is gonna be about riding with a camera. All right, so pretty much as soon as I can afford, as soon as I could afford riding with a camera, I started riding with one. Um, me and my brothers, we all ride with cameras. I'm the only one who moto vlogs, but those guys, um, those guys and me, we're always recording, always, no matter what, 24-7, 365. If we're riding, we are recording. And it's just, the main reason why we started doing it is for peace of mind. If something were to happen, um, if something were to, like, if we were to get into an accident or if we were to witness an accident, we would be able to consult that video. And that's a huge thing because there are so many crooked people in this world who don't follow the laws, who are dangerous, who talk on their cell phones, who don't care about other motorists, and they're just dumb. There are dumb people out there. So I, for the most part, I ride so I can record dumb people. Um, and really, hopefully me and these dumb people don't interact on a more personal level, but in case a, an accident does happen where one of these dumbasses hits me or something dangerous happens or I witness something dangerous to happen to someone else, I, I'm ready. I'm recording. I'm, I'm good to go. And at first it was kind of hard for me to swallow purchasing a GoPro. Um, that's what I ride with. I ride with a GoPro. It's kind of the standard in action cameras. In action cameras. Um, my brothers, we all ride with GoPros. Um, but that's beside the point. It was kind of hard for me to stomach purchasing a GoPro and figuring it out and getting the routine down um, with recording. Because I'm not going to say riding with a GoPro is easy or it's convenient, but it gets more convenient the more that you do it. Because you start to get into a routine and it starts hurting a lot less because you start realizing the importance of riding with a GoPro. Um, well, riding with an action camera, riding while recording. Because you, when you start riding more, you start seeing a lot of dumb people. You start seeing people, you know, change lanes without indicating. You start seeing drunk people on the road. You start seeing pedestrians jaywalking. You see people running red lights and blasting through intersections. And you think, what happens if they were to hit me? and I don't have a camera, or I didn't have the camera on me. Well, they could easily sue you. And that's, that's really what I don't want. I want to have that sense of security where if it comes, it comes to a bad situation like that, it's not gonna be my word against theirs. It's gonna be the facts. It's gonna be my camera footage and my word against theirs. And that's a really, that's really what justifies the entire thing. That's that's how I justify, you know, riding with the camera and riding with the inconvenience of riding with the camera every day. And you know, if it if it's worth it one time, it'll be worth all of the inconvenience in the world. Because honestly, after seeing a bunch of these other people go through traumatic experiences on motorcycles or in cars, and where it's 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 their word versus you know someone else's. You know, the motorcyclist is going to get the short end of the stick. It, it almost always happens like that. And it's not fair. And life isn't fair, so that's why I record everything. Um, like this guy. Like, look at him. He's entirely in the crosswalk. And those are the kind of people that you have to watch out for. Those are the kinds of people that I, that I, I wear a camera for. And... If I wasn't moto vlogging, I would still be recording. I was recording before I was moto vlogging. And of course, it's a lot of non interesting things. It's just me commuting to work. You know, nothing crazy happens. But every once in a while, there was a crazy thing that would happen. I would see people almost get hit. As a matter of fact, the first time that I rode with the camera with the microphone, like, I, I almost. My, I almost witnessed my brother get into an accident. I almost witnessed an accident in front of me. Like, two separate occasions, same day, just me riding around town, almost witnessed two accidents. And, like, it's crazy because life is so finite and it's such a blink that 
I want to prolong it and I want to make sure that I have the most, I enjoy the most out of life. And I'm not going to be able to enjoy life if somebody's suing me or if, you know, I get hit and I'm not able to sue someone who hit me. Like, it sucks because we live in the society where it's up to you to protect yourself. No one's going to be looking out for you. It's just you. And it hurts. It sucks. It's really unfortunate. But that's the world that we live in. That's how we, that's how the United States is. And people aren't honest. And a camera keeps people honest. A camera keeps me honest. A camera keeps cops honest. And, you know, there's accountability. When you ride with a camera, you're accountable for everything that happens. Because, you know, say someone, you do get into an accident, someone can subpoena that camera footage. And what do you know? You know, it's a double-edged sword. Um, you know, let's go back to the whole routine thing. I ride almost every single day and, you know, as soon as I put my helmet on, I'm recording. And it took me a really long time to figure out my routine. And, you know, it took me a lot of money. Um, I have, I have two GoPros, I have four batteries, I have two external hard drives, and I have video editing software, I have two microphones. And it's all because, one, I'm out of vlog, and two, like, if one GoPro dies for some reason, whether it's a battery issue or a mechanical failure, I have something to back it up with. I have another camera. And really, it's that one time that you ride without a GoPro, it's that one time that you ride without your spare GoPro, that something's gonna happen to you. And honestly, I wanna keep you guys from from having that sense of like fear that something's gonna happen without you and your you and your accountability machine. And really I wanna keep you guys safe. And like it's the same reason why I recommend full coverage insurance to you guys. Because if you do get into an accident, I wanna make sure you guys are riding for the rest of your lives. You know, I wanna make sure you guys don't get screwed in the situation that life deals you. Um, and for me, full coverage insurance is it's it's important. And if honestly, if I were riding anything, I'd probably have full coverage, but I would definitely have a GoPro. I would definitely have an action camera, um, just because I've seen so much stupid crap happen, and I've seen, you know, so many crazy videos online where somebody messes up and, you know, dangerous stuff happens. And I don't want that to happen to you guys because, you know, hey, you should learn from the mistakes that other people make. And yes, I make mistakes, and yeah, you've probably seen some mistakes on on video because, you know, I record everything. And, and honestly, at first it was hard. It was hard for me to get into a routine because my batteries were never charged, my card was always full, and my computer started getting full too. So, when I started recording, I learned a lot of stuff the hard way. Um, I bought, I bought both of my cameras used online on a, 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 an app called OfferUp. I got both of them, they were both broken for, uh, I got them from separate dealers, separate, separate sellers. I got both of them for under $200. And that's one hell of a deal. And honestly, like, if I could go back in time, like, I would do it all over again. Because having two cameras is awesome. I, I have that peace of mind if one breaks, I could easily pull over on the side of the road, hit up a gas station and swap them out, swap batteries out, um, swap cards out. And really, you know, it's all about that contingency, especially riding a motorcycle. You want to be prepared for anything that happens, um, whether it's your fault or not. And I don't want, I don't want my batteries running out and I don't want my camera breaking on the road and then all of a sudden I get hit by a car because somebody's drunk or somebody's texting and driving and you know I'm paralyzed and I don't get to I don't get to sue the person I don't get to have hold them accountable for what they did and really what are you gonna do you know what are you gonna do if you don't have a camera if you're not recording every single second that one second that you do get hit, what are you gonna do? It's your word against theirs. And I never want it to happen that way. That's why I told my brothers, hey, 
get GoPros, start recording, do this and that. Even if you're not gonna moto vlog, just start recording because it's safe. And here's my routine. Um, say my GoPro is all fresh and charged, my card's formatted, and I want to go and I want to go out and ride. Uh, what I do is I just I turn my GoPro on, I make sure that it's charged, I make sure my um, make sure my card's formatted, battery's charged, and everything like that. I hit the record button, I throw my helmet on, and I'm recording. Even before my helmet's on, or sometimes a little bit after, whatever, plus or minus a couple seconds, before my bike's even on, my my GoPro is going. And that's because you don't know matter you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if someone's gonna walk up behind you and you know ask for all your money or steal your bike from right in front of you. And that's why I kind of throw my helmet on or turn my GoPro on as soon as I can. And when I'm riding, I just let it happen. If I'm talking, I'm talking. If I don't, you know, it's still recording. It doesn't doesn't matter. And I just edit that stuff out anyways. Um, but when I'm finished riding. I turn my GoPro off, I make sure that my battery's still good, and if it's, say, like a long ride or something like that, uh, wherever my destination is, I swap my batteries out, or swap the GoPro out for my spare one, and then I just turn it off, and then do my thing, and then hop back on my bike, then go home. And when I reach home, what I usually do is, might as well split that, when I get home, what I usually do is... Uh, as soon as I, I get into my house, I, I pull my GoPro out of the case, plug it into my computer, and my computer's already set up to, um, to auto-dump all the video and format the card afterwards. So, that way I'm always putting my, my GoPro back into my case with, you know, a card that's ready to go. And then, uh, hopefully I, I let it sit for a little bit so it can charge. And whenever I'm done with a short task or something, like changing or taking a shower or eating dinner or eating breakfast, whatever, grabbing a snack, I put my GoPro back into my helmet. And that's a huge thing. Because if you don't put your, your GoPro back into your helmet or back into the case where it belongs, you're not going to put it back when you're rushing. Like say you're like, oh crap, I gotta go to work. Oh crap, I gotta go get groceries, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna be like, ah, I'm not gonna ride with my GoPro because it's upstairs or because it's on the charger. And what's gonna happen? Just like I said, at one time you don't ride with it, you're gonna get hit, you're gonna witness something crazy, you're gonna wish that you were riding with it. So I'm always picking up my helmet, ready to go. Um, but yeah, that I have contingencies, I have a backup GoPro, I back up all my all my videos on two hard drives. And you know, all that stuff costs money, but if it pays off once, if I need to use my GoPro once in court or for an insurance purpose or because I, because someone else's insurance purpose, like, it'll all be worth it. And I'm not saying you should start moto vlogging, but I started moto vlogging because like hell, I already have the camera. I'm already riding with it 24 seven. I have stuff to say, why not? put myself uh why not mic myself up and, and talk to you guys and honestly I'm glad that I do because it passes the time and it allows me to shed some insight into my life but riding with a GoPro its main purpose on my head is to protect myself if I get into an accident and it's it without it I have this like sense of like oh shoot my shoelace is untied or, you know, oh god, did I turn the stove off? Getting started with the GoPro, getting started with a camera, it was hard to do, but now that I do it, it's just routine. It's easy. I figured it out. Like, it's just like brushing your teeth every morning and night. You just do it. You don't think about how inconvenient it is, you just do it. Because you realize, like, hey, in the long run, it's worth it. And really, if you're hesitant about you know, getting a GoPro because it's expensive. Imagine how expensive medical bills are gonna be for someone else, or imagine how expensive it's gonna be when you wreck your bike, or someone else wrecks your bike, and you don't have the proper evidence to say, hey, it was not me at fault. Like, that would suck. So what I'm saying, guys, is like, if you ride, you should have 
you should have an action camera with you. You should be recording every single second of your ride. You should be protecting yourself. And if you decide to start moto vlogging, awesome. If you have any questions about moto vlogging or riding with a GoPro, feel free to drop them in the drop them in the comment box because hey, it was it was difficult for me to learn and I taught my brothers a lot of things and they taught me a lot of things so all I want to do is really share that information with you and honestly guys I hope you I hope really hope you enjoyed the video and you know thank you thank you thank you so much for watching you know this was kind of a hard one to record because you know it's like the nuts and bolts of what I do and you know it seems like such a common thing for me that I don't even have to think about it but you know justifying my rationale is tricky um but anyways guys if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down uh but tell me why in the in the comments if you have any questions comments or concerns throw them down there too and i hope you guys have a great day and until next time thank you for watching peace out